and welcome back. It's been a while. I'm just going to uh, press the evacuate button up here because I deleted. Oh, I can't get to it. Fine. Uh, but yeah, you can probably see the water. I delete some canals. You should probably get out of here, citizens. Just, just a bit of warning for you. Oh yeah, you're all dead. Except for these people. Living in a tower doesn't seem so bad after all, does it? Unfortunately, you, your cars did just wash away. Oh dear. Uh oh. And these guys. Did you evacuate or not? Because it's kind of your own... You are in the, in the canal. Confused. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? Oh, you've now sunk into the canal. Well, you're dead now. What a fun way to start the episode. Uh, everyone around here? Dead. Dead and in traffic. What the hell is this? Is this an accident? Or is this due to the flood? Or is this just your idiocy? Because you're going to die if you don't get out of this traffic jam. Hmm. It looks like they've chosen death. Oh, uh, well, at least there's now lots more parking. Yeah, we really, we did a great job. I mean, I count that as a win for the city. So whilst that floods over there... Oh God, why are you flooding? Oh, disturbing. Everything's always flooding in this town. Uh, we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff because we've gotta, we've gotta do some work. It's been a while since I've been here, so I don't know what we were exactly planning to do, but who cares, we have new plans. Uh. I noticed the people at the mall are dead, and the traffic hasn't gone away, which is really disappointing. I don't know where you're going. Like, half the city just flooded. Everyone's washed away, but yet you are still here, delivering products to large warehouse. These warehouses, I swear to God. Is everyone here going to the large warehouse? Where are you going? Exporting, exporting. I don't know where you are going. I don't know where you came from. It's a bit odd. Ugh, you're doing that thing again, aren't you? Yeah. Who would have... Who would have guessed that they would do that? Except for everyone. Because we're all sick of the citizens and their genuine stupidity. Is someone sending a hearse to come to you? Uh, well, none of these are the colour that hearses are. So I can only assume they'll get to you one day. Dead body in the supermarket. It'll be fine. Don't, don't stress about it. It's, it's, it's just going to be great. I noticed this water's coming in, which is more worrying than the water from the canal that was going out. Very odd. But you know what? Who needs, who needs to know about that? We are going to build a new neighbourhood. A real great one. And it's going to be fantastic. I think, though, because we've got no demand for anything... So, if it, talk me through plans. This whole area, massive residential neighbourhood. But you've got this bit in the middle. And we've also got this old industrial zone. But we don't really want that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, goodbye. Good riddance. But we've got this whole area here. Some major roads. Things things could be good around here. I don't know where exactly these roads are going. Over here, maybe? I don't know what is over there. I don't know where you'd want to go. But... We are build the road anyway. Oh. Hang on. It would appear we have minus $7,000 in the bank. It's because you're on the shelter, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 700 people. Well, one, I'm very impressed with you, citizens. You must have learned from the tornado that you shouldn't ignore the disaster warnings. And also, you've sent the entire economy into the toilet. Get back to the office. This instant. Leave. Get out. Go, make some money for the town. I can't, I can't keep running at a loss like this. Yes, come on. The ambulance, you better be charging surge prices. Uh, come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Come on, citizens. Um, need some more money than that. Uh, yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Out of the deficit, don't make me get rid of the postal service. Because I will. I will, citizens. God, they're going to take about 50 years, aren't they? Do you need a bigger road? I could, I could... Oh, actually, that's right, I can't because I've got no money. 
Listen, just go to work. I'm starting to make money again. Right, well that's good. I'm gonna speed up time so we can get the cash. And since I can't do anything, why don't we not do that? Why don't we look at the happenings in our town and see what's going on? Lots of people walking down this path. Where exactly are you going? I can't grab them. God, they're little and fast. God, I missed one. Eh, eh. I'll get you event. Oh, who cares? They're losers anyway. People at the stable, people dead. The dead, that's a recurring theme. And I'm not sure I like it. Really, I'm not, not impressed by the dead. Traffic seems fine around here. Dodson Ranch traffic is non-existent and there's also destroyed power lines hanging around people's homes. Always what you want to see. Oh, except there are bodies everywhere. Oh god, and look, these people aren't in the district and they've started building weird things. This is not what we tolerate in this town. Get out. Right, what's with the dead? Let's, let's check upon the dead situation. Uh, yeah, the cemetery is here in North Fearset, or whatever, whatever direction this is. I remember you. Uh, Hurst is in use three out of ten. Do you not think maybe we should use more than three? Considering there are bodies piling everywhere. Interesting the bodies are gone. Weird. There are 395 dead. So, all named Darren Dreamer, we're gonna assume. Why is there trees in the road? That's another recurring theme in this series. I'm not into that one either. Uh, we've got some money now. So what are we going to do in this area? Uh, we can go with the bridge. Let's go with the bridge. First we're going to get the bridge. Because this is clearly going to go over here. So it's destined to go. Except, you know, you've got no money. And you know what, why would I spend my money on building a bridge? No one's going to take it. No one wants getting a bridge to nowhere. Uh, so what am I going to do in the area that's not bridge? That is an important question. Because it's a bit weird, like we've got this weird space next to the canal. It's not a straight road, it's on a bit of an angle. We've got this area, it's not... It's not conducive to becoming a new area, is it? Unless it's like a shopping area. Which I could do, I could do shopping. All demand is here. So why don't I do some shopping and I'll make a wonderful time lapse for you all to enjoy. <laughs>
this is what we've got so far. I have got plans. They haven't come to fruition, really, but it's just because we don't have the money, you see. One day we'll have lots of money. And this can be our some kind of like industrial, residential, high density nonsense zone. Because, you know, we're going to have suburbs like around here and they're nice, but we're going to need big things and big things need parking and they can all go here next to the mall. They have a little area all to their selves. Everywhere will have a little area. It's sort of the thing that we're going for. How about schools? It says that we, we don't need any more schools, but I think they might be lying to us because we only have one school for this entire area. So I think they're probably going to need a school. Maybe not a high school, because that one holds like 2,000, but definitely an elementary school. There is more than 600 kids, even if the game seems to think that there isn't. So we can always squeeze a school in. Like that could go, that could go around here. I think it would be beautiful. Everyone else agrees. I am truly a YouTube star. Definitely. This is how city planning is. You know, you just you just sort of tack things anywhere. It's written right there in the Zach Bird Guide to City Planning, which you should definitely buy. I mean, 90% of it is just me telling you not to connect your roads, but still. It's a great book. Yeah, let's put it, like, there. We've got to give... Got to give the school some breathing room so I can put the parking in. Oh yeah. Is that wonky? Well, the whole road's kind of wonky, so what do you expect? We've now got a school. Another school. You need water? What whiny babies? You'd think they were like school children. We've also got a new store. This is the one I actually did buy before I ran out of money. This is Ingalls. And it's a reminder that I need new stores. I've sort of placed all the ones we have down, except for our hotel. Remember ages ago we had a plan to put a hotel around here? Yeah. I don't even think that's a big enough space to put a hotel. We can always put the hotel around here with everything else. This area is sort of the up-and-coming neighbourhood. It's going to need its own little name. What district should contain the mall and the, uh, whatever you call it. What's this area? The big zone area. The big zone area. Who do you think of when you think of rampant materialism? That is, that's the whole premise of this area. Like, I mean, some people are going to live there, but still. It's a shopping district with some factories. Who, who is, who is the shopping? You know what? It's got to be Lauren. It's got to be Lauren Stewart, our favourite money printer, genuine. I wouldn't say evil. She's not evil in the way that Ellen is evil. She's evil in the way that she's a benign, a benign evil. What, what name though? I'm going to have to have a think. You know what? We're just going to name it Lauren, but not like the boring name. We're going to call it Lauren. Because that sounds more like a place. Like a, not a classy place. A kind of classy place. It is full of factories and industries and things. But, you know. Have we got any money yet to build any of my master plans? That's... I keep going to that menu when I need to go to this menu. It's just, it looks like a factory, you see. That's what I think of when I think of area. Uh, we've got new shops. Well, actually, none of these areas were planned out for shops. These are both going to be residential. So I've got this big building. That's going to cost 40000 which is sad. And this area, which is loads of little ones, which are going to cost 20000 each. So really, what I'm saying is we're bankrupt. Let's save up money for the big one first. We want to do the big one, then do the little weedy, terrible ones. And we can have sort of an apartment area. This will be sort of like downtown. It looks very downtown. It has the mall. It also has loads of traffic problems. Interestingly, they're gone now. How's Darren Dreamer Park doing, by the way? Uh, no traffic problems here. Many... Problems with everything else, but it's Darren Dreamer Park. What do you want? It's a bit of a crap hole, isn't it? It's an absolute crap hole. Do you know what? Why don't we do an expansion to Darren Dreamer Park whilst we wait for the money? I realise that we'll be spending the money, but um, actually, yeah. Let's build this road, and the expansion to Darren Dreamer Park can happen maybe in a different episode. You know, once we've got more money. Money is the 
sort of thing that holds us back at this point in the series in the fact that we already took out all those massive loans. And what are we going to do if we don't take out massive loans? That's our whole thing about the series. Like, we no, Lord knows we can't make money on our own. Let's look at the money screen. Where the Fiorella Butcher pointed out that we have the big words that said expenses. We're not going to listen to her. We're spending $400 on transport. And we're making $2.70. Because public transport is a waste of money. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we're going, oh, oh, we've almost got $5. Six? My, 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 it always pays for itself. We've been going about this the wrong way, trying to build things that get us money. Things don't get us money. Where's that taxi rank? Get out of town. You are a waste of my money. I've not seen one taxi getting washed away by a massive flood. So, you know, you're complaining that taxes are too high. You ought to be nicer to a man with a bulldozer. Little restaurant. I will make you rue the day you crossed with me. What else is costing money? You've got the post service, but I don't want to get rid of that. I, I'm not. I'm not cruel. They deserve to be able to send postcards out of the little prison I put them in. Uh, powers eating a lot of money. Roads, but well, you can't really do anything about roads. Fire department. What are you da? What are you doing? Like coating your fire trucks with gold. Let's see where the fire department is. It probably is a bad move. We've only got one fire station. Then how, pray tell, are you spending your thousands of dollars? Oh, does it count the disaster things to the fire service? Yes, it does. Well, we've got our shelter and our thingy. Well, if you don't want to get rid of the shelter. Especially when I keep flooding the town. That's a bad move. Well, we got $40,000 now, so me rambling, it really paid off. Let's get this big, big building. It sort of looks like a factory, but doesn't everything in this town? It's stunning. It's got no water. Let me put the paths in, and then you can have the water. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's stunning. Have the water. You deserve it. You also deserve actual parking, but I'll get to that. That's not for being on camera. How many people are going to live here? 69 households. There are 69 apartments in this building. And how many are there in this thing? 26. Don't know how they did the math on that one. This is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 floors. And it's got enough room for 26 families. This is uh, 4 floors. And it's got 69. Admittedly it is longer and significantly lower class, so you could assume they're just living in cupboards. You never know what the lower class are up to. But still, that's got us a lot of population. We used to have more than 4,000, but that kind of went down. I wonder why. It's not like there was a terrible flood. Come on, citizens. Why don't you want to move here? Things are great. Yeah. Oh, look, you losers didn't get the memo when I said we were putting you in the district. Just clear off, you lot. You're weird and I hate you. Like, build with a theme. Everyone else does it, why can't you? Oh look, they're complaining that they've got no land value. Excuse me? You are crappy and awful, and there's trees all over the road. Which is really getting to be a bit odd at this point. But look, they're all pulling up. Oh god, they're getting stuck in the parking lots again. Oh, they're parking over there because they didn't give them one. That is very, very nice of you. I don't know why there's no one parked there, mind you. Oh, it's a Saturday. Well, that explains why no one's at work. But still, you should be working Saturdays. The city needs the money. You can't go home and slack on your weekends. What do you think we're running here? A vacation spa? Get back to the office. You're delivering things to the office. Just what exactly is going on over here? Talking of office, we also need a university. We very badly need a university to get us the ability to have offices. Offices would go great round here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to draw up a little bit of a roadmap for future. One, I, I assume we've already done this before, but let's be real. We need to do a new one. What are we going to do? Next episode, we're going to build this area. And we might also expand 
Darren Dreamer Park. And then the episode after next, we've got loads of money. We're going to build a university somewhere. Where's it going to go? Round here. We're going to get loads of money because we're going to have to build, you know, the next stage of this freeway, which is a bit of a nightmare. Like, it's the only thing that works when it comes to traffic, but it's also mind-bogglingly expensive. Like, what, sh what would we even have? Not this thing. That thing didn't work out very well last time. We need something that ends, like, sort of both ways. Unless... Unless... Uh, no, that's a... No, 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 no. Listen to yourself, Zach. Unless... Unless... Hear me out. We got something that went... Sort of everywhere. Not like that. That's not what I meant. Uh, it's hard to see when they've all sort of got these massive you can't afford this signs on them. But I mean, what if we had more freeways? We can't run this whole town off one freeway. No, 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 no. Especially we've got this whole island. And we've got big downtown over here. We're going to have to move this around here. This will be the university. They can have that exit around there. And we can have a new freeway that sort of breaks off. We need like a freeway fork, you see. You see, you see, you see. You get what I'm saying. So we'd build like this. Where's the thing I was on about? Oh, Lord knows. Lord knows the way I'm scrolling. It's just a bit of a mystery. This would go out maybe over here. Because this will go just to the university and nowhere else. So that way it won't cause massive issues. And then we'll build a new freeway off that way. Well, actually, we might have to go sort of like roundy there and split over here because I don't think there's a lot of room around here. Either way, the people around here aren't getting an exit for ages and they're going to have to drive past the mall and this is going to become the traffic zone of our nightmares. You know, wonderful. Traffic problems are definitely going to come. They were here, they're everywhere. Like, I got rid of the one on Jones's street with a massive flood, but I can't keep doing that, citizens. Sooner or later, there's going to be a traffic problem that no amount of water can wash away.